Wow, I am really stoked and I am proud of you. And I am super excited for what lies ahead when you take massive action on the go time formula. You've now made it to the last step. It's fun and it keeps us strong. The E in the go time formula stands for engage. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens another. The writer of Proverbs wrote that. The writer of Proverbs, he laid down a, a truth bomb here. You know what it's saying? It's lonely at the top. But anyone that says that, I really feel sorry for those people. You know why? Because they missed out on the joy of going to the top with the others. If you see pictures of the Hunter Supertex team, the company that I founded, you'll notice that almost all of them are in the V formation. There's a super important meaning behind that, and it all relates to engagement in this step. Did you ever see a flock of geese flying in a V formation? You know how one line's typically longer than the other? So check out what I learned about that from seventh grade football about the flying V. I was playing quarterback, we were in practice, and all of a sudden my coach, he brung everything to a screeching halt. The geese were flying overhead and he pointed and he shouted. He said, Hunter, do you know why one line is longer than the other? I looked up at the geese, I looked at him, and I didn't really have a great answer. I said, I don't know, coach. And he said, well, Hunter, it's because it's got more birds in it. All right, yeah, I guess he's right. But I made a mental note there. He actually missed out on a huge leadership lesson. When geese fly together, each goose, they provide an additional lift and it reduces the air resistance for the goose flying behind it. By flying together in a V formation, the scientists estimate that the whole flock can go 70% further with the same amount of energy than if the goose flew alone. Geese have discovered that they can reach their destination more quickly and expend less energy when they fly in formation, when they're engaged, right? When people who share common values work in harmony together, they all arrive at their destination faster and with more ease. They're lifted up by the energy and enthusiasm by one another, and they're engaged with each other. Here's another thing. When a goose drops out of the V formation, it quickly discovers that it requires a great deal more effort and energy to fly. Consequently, that goose, it quickly returns back to the formation to take advantage of the lifting power of flying together. Sometimes people drop out of a group too, right? And they try to go off on their own to accomplish their own goals. That can be a bad idea. But however, like the geese, they usually discover that they miss the team's energy and the synergy. Once back in the formation, part of a cohesive team, they're re-energized and they're pursuing the team's destination. Here's another really cool thing. Geese, they rotate leadership. The goose flying in the front of the formation, he's expending all the energy because he's the first to break up all the airflow. It provides additional lift for the geese who follow, but when the leader gets tired, it drops out of the front position and it moves to the rear of the formation where the resistance back there, it's the lightest, right? But here's what happens. Another goose moves into the leader's position. Leaders rotate many times during the course of their long journey to warmer clients. When a team is engaged with others and functioning well, various members of the team might take a leadership role because of a particular experience or expertise. But on good teams, everyone has the opportunity to serve as a leader and as a follower. Do you know why geese honk at each other? No? Well, it's not because they're using turn signals. Scientists speculate that honking is their way of communicating with each other during the long flights. It can also be that honking geese, they're motivating. They're cheering each other on. So similarly, when working on teams, it's exceedingly important for each team member to communicate regularly with others on their team. Teams frequently fall apart due to lack of communication between each other. Motivate and cheer on your teammates. Honk if you have to, I don't care. It works for geese, it'll work for us. Lastly, geese help each other. This might be my favorite part of the whole thing. Scientists also discovered that when one goose becomes ill, he gets shot, gets injured, and it's able to drop out of the formation. Well, two other geese will fall out of that formation and they'll go down and protect that weakened goose. And they'll stay there with him. They'll protect him until that injured goose gets free from predators and everything else, until he can get back up and fly again. Like geese, human teams work best when they do more than just work together. When they demonstrate care for each other's well-being and they're engaged, they protect each other, it's a win-win-win. So let's review. Engagement, sharpening of the skills, 
and character development. That's what it does. The team will go further. Trust increases. Customer relationships develop and even sales increase due to that. Relationships with other leaders push members forward and they go there faster. The E was for engage. It's a great reminder that we're all in the people business. Your work is not just on your office or on your computer. It's with those people around you. So how do we stay engaged? It takes moving forward with intention. This doesn't happen by accident. It needs to be scheduled priority. For example, I meet every Wednesday for one hour with my Service Nation Alliance Advisory Board. The tougher things were in my business, the more tempted I was to disengage from the group and go it alone, just like that geese. But I found that when I made the call a priority and I engaged with other leaders, I not only received sound advice, I got motivated. I kept on going. The same thing happened with team meetings. The first of the month, we have an all-team meeting. Yeah, it's hard to get everyone there. We're busy, right? But the engagement was critical to our culture and our success. One guy even asked me, he said, Chris, how can you shut the whole company down for a meeting and bring everybody in once a month? And I asked, how can we not? These are my people. This is what's important. We crave the engagement and it was a scheduled priority. So engage is the last piece of the go time formula. And you can see by now, if you apply this formula to any area, and I mean any area that you want positive results in, you will find uncommon success. Here's our last review. The G was for goals. What do you want to accomplish? O was for observe. You're going to learn from others. They've been there. They've done that. The T was take massive action. The name says it all. It's go time for some massive action, right? The I was inspect. Inspect the results of the massive action we just took. M is for modify. Modify the action plan. We're continuously improving. And the E, engage. Get and stay connected. Let's bring as many people to the top as we can. You guys have been awesome. I've got a surprise for you. No final exam. How about that? So the next time you hear it's go time, I want you to think about what it stands for. It's time for success. It's time for you to achieve whatever it is that you want. You deserve it. You work so hard to accomplish this mission. Let's do it, folks. It's go time.